Well, how do there, Charms Tazai, Captain of the Steves, and I'm back with a cup of tea, and I'm on the No Man's Sky Assistant app website of all places, people. So why am I over here? I think I've spotted something. I think I've spotted something pretty interesting. Under Community Missions, this icon above my head right here, boom. If I click into that, and then I can look at what's coming next. So we've already got these these free posters. As you can see, we've got the bake sale poster before. You know what, let's go to the other view. Let's pop on over to here so you can see a little bit better without me obscuring it all too much. Next up, we have three fireworks. We have a purple ribbon firework, a blue ribbon firework, and a teal ribbon firework. Well, we know that we're getting purple systems coming into game soon. We already have blue systems inside of game. I am wondering whether we might be getting a teal system coming into game. But anyway, let's click into teal because this is a bit strange. Okay, so let's see if I can zoom in a little bit on this, make it a bit bigger. Hopefully you can read the text. Let's just go one down. There we go. This exotic firework is sparkling with zinc. We get on to zinc in a moment, people. Anatomy elements burst into clusters of wild spiring ribbons, ignite to create a glittering display in the sky. Very interesting. And it was introduced in the orbital update. Now I'm wondering whether this emoji in orbital, although that it would denote space stations, they could use a space station one, but this looks like it's some sort of you know, orbiting star, different star systems. I think that might also be a clue. I think we might be getting teal systems as well as purple systems, people. And zinc is an old element, a very old element inside of No Man's Sky. Let me bring up another tab and I will Google this. Okay, John, the... so I just Googled No Man's Sky zinc. And here you go, there's the elements there. Now, if I go to the actual wiki on this, so the wiki fandom, whatever, yeah, I'd, I'd sign my life away to read this freaking page. Here we go. So there we go. Let's scroll on in. It says here, obsolete. So this was when No Man's Sky first came out. When No Man's Sky Next came along, it sort of shook things up, made this particle as well as others obsolete. Zinc is basically sodium. The sodium of today is the zinc of yesteryear. Yeah. So anyway, I'm wondering if they do put in zinc systems, a teal system, on the actual star map, I'm wondering whether they're going to be old versions of No Man's Sky, the pre-next builds of No Man's Sky, with more varied weirdness going on with the landscape, far more texture patterns to the actual terrain, like whirly-twirly patterns and weirdness, those snake-type terrains that you could fly in and under. I think we might start seeing some of the older styles of No Man's Sky blurred into the new ones inside of Teal Systems. Now, why do I feel that Teal Systems might be coming in? Well, if I go back into here, if I hit the blue ribbon firework, now this is actually made using Idiom. And Idiom, we know, is a blue system. We know they're blue systems. So I'm thinking that if it's going to need Idiom or whatever, then it's to do with the blue systems. And the purple ribbon firework, I think, uh, uh, the lantium. The only thing is, how are you going to make a zinc drive to get into the zinc system if it is yesteryear's materials? Maybe we might find zinc inside the purple systems to then go and get to the uh, green or teal systems, these teal systems. Now, on the galactic map right now, if you change your filter on the galactic map to race or whatever it is, life form, the actual teal are the Corvax. I think it is all doable in what's inside of game right now to easily drop in the blue systems or these teal systems, I should say, and the purple systems. And we already know purple systems are going to become a thing because we've seen the resources appearing inside of like the uh, portals and all sorts of other stuff inside of data leaks. So, yeah, that's what I think is on the horizon, people. Let me know in the comments. Sound off. Let me know what you think. Now, since we're on the No Man's Sky Assistant app's website, there is a new area added here for those that are back in on Patreon right now. So if you hit fishing, you may be asked, because I'm already a Patreon backer, for a secret password. 
Now, Kurt has kindly said I can give out mine. He's hoping to roll this out to everybody on Tuesday. So anybody that's watching this video, which was probably going to go live either late Sunday or early Monday, hopefully you're going to get early access because I'm going to put my special password on the screen right now, just below these two icons. Go and hit up that special password inside of the No Man's Sky website app. And if you are going to be using this and making use of it, to let Kurt know, download the app, give it a like, maybe even give it a review. Heck yeah. Awesome. So you can go into fishing baits and it tells you about all the different baits. And this is all based on their current, current ratings inside of game. Now, the spicy chum, just keep in, in mind that it gives you a plus 50% on legendary and epic rate of 400%, etc., etc. et, cetera, et cetera. The spicy chum. OK, I'm going to show you something a little bit crazy in a moment over on the original patch notes. Now, down here, we've also got lots of other ingredients and what they bring to the game when it comes to a baits on the line for fishing. So a lot of this is all from good. Uh, what is his name? Good guys free. Good guys free. Yeah, I'll put a link to his channel just above me up here. Go hit up his channel because he's pretty darn freaking awesome with No Man's Sky content. And a lot of this that Kurt has fed into the app is from Good Guys Free and their uh, Discord and their sort of community and putting together a really cool sort of like diagnostic sheet, some sort of, I don't know, spreadsheet in Excel that's pulled all these in. Yeah, so pretty darn freaking lovely. Go check out that. In fact, rather than put his channel there, I put the video there that's all about it. But here we go. Good Guys Free is mentioned right here, in fact. And Pure Calamity, Low Gotenbreck, and others. So there's a lot of people there to give a little nod to. Congratulations, those people. Sorry if I butchered your name. But yeah, a lot of information has been pulled into the app to make it a lot easier for you. Not only that, if you hit on fishing locations, you can actually sort this by biome. So you could go for, say, all of the swamp creatures and you, know, you could go by size if you really want to. And it's going to break them all down for you, which is pretty darn lovely. And it even tells you whether they're found in storms or not and all that sort of shenanigans when you click on them. OK, so that should help you massively with your fishing. Now, why I mentioned that these baits they might be in a state of flux or a state of change all of these in here is because i noticed something rather curious about this spicy chum so let me just jump on over and let's just bring on up the patch notes for no man's sky so here we go no man's sky aquarius yeah i cut it last time because i didn't want you to hear all the typing because this keyboard's rather clacky but if I scroll down on this, there is a curious screenshot that so it shows the spicy chum. But look at the rarity catch rate on this. OK, 176 percent. We don't have any baits that come anywhere even close to that right now. So I'm wondering why Hello Games dialed down their main baits. And I'm wondering whether they're going to slowly tweak them back up. And I'm wondering whether all the baits are still in a slight case of rebalancing. Some baits have been nerfed. Some baits have been lifted. Some baits, yep, have stayed the same. It's a little bit all over the place right now, people. I trust the main baits, roughly, mostly. Because I still think a lot of these other baits could be in a state of you know, being worked on all of these down here. I think although that this is great to have now, just check when you put them on the hook that they're still giving this sort of value because I've seen some right weird stuff happening with um, some of these. But anyway, there you go, people. That's pretty much everything I have for you when it comes to a No Man's Sky news. Now, hopefully, hopefully we're going to have more happening throughout the week. I mean, we've just got the last of the posters. So hopefully those fireworks will roll round and hopefully you're going to see a little bit going on there. But I honestly think we're going to see a lot more in Worlds Part 2 than what people have imagined. It's like even on this logo, you see the Atlas here. It's actually falling apart. You can see bits of debris falling off of it. I'm wondering whether there's going to be more going on between the Atlas and the uh, Void Mother than what we know currently uh, i'm hoping so anyway i'm hoping there's going to be lots more lore lots more story and lots more around that void mother and atlas relationship that gets spread out a bit and also we built that autophage you know that giant man spider up by tephas inside of the nexus 
And right now, he doesn't really do much. I'm wondering whether he's going to give us either Atlas or Void Mother-related missions and maybe some sort of factional quests, whichever way, with, whichever way which we've aligned ourselves. And I'm wondering whether the Atlas Eternal Path and the other mission that we've unlocked is going to be panned out a bit in Worlds Part 2. That's what I'm thinking, people. Let us know. Sound up in the comments what you think. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.